So here's our cart. We've installed the straps using that this dog needs a 15 and a half inch seat height and that we always start for the saddle putting the first screw in the back of the T on the leg holding the wheel. This makes it so that the saddle sits, the center of the saddle sits in front of the axle, which makes it so the cart doesn't pop forward or pop up. So here's the back of the T. That's where we put the first screw. And we measured across and it's, we want it to be seven and a half inches for this dog. We go diagonally across, it's a foot. But we have to remember that this is going to drop down underneath. And we want it to be a height of 15 and a half inches where the dog's groin sits. So we need to make our straps extra long so that we have room to drop them down and room to make the fold and put the screw in and have a little bit of adjustability left. We also put the straps on the front of the cart. There's a strap going up over the dog's shoulders. You can put one going down under the dog's belly. This keeps the cart from popping up again. And then there's one that goes around the dog's chest in the front to help secure the cart to the dog. We always pre-drill before putting screws in. This one that's going to go around the dog's chest is in the cap that goes on the end of the cart. And then this is actually two straps, the one going down and the one going up, layered in the screw. And we pre-drilled that also so that the cart doesn't, um, the PVC on the cart doesn't split when we put the larger screw in. So you want to pre-drill a really small hole. Another thing about the straps is that you need to melt the ends. so that they don't fray. They're going to be a little bit hot so you don't want to touch it right away. Fold them over and then put the screw in. And that helps secure the screw and keeps the strap from ripping. We mount this strap in the back from the underside. This is actually going to hold a paralyzed dog's legs. Um, so that they don't drag on the ground. We don't want to have any skin abrasion or nails being filed off on the cement. So this makes a sling for their feet to go in. Um, the size or the length varies, so we try and leave some adjustability up in here for them to shorten or lengthen it to where it's comfortable for the dogs. So this is what our finished cart looks like. This is for a 55 pound border collie mix and we just have it propped up on a box there. Ideally when you put this cart on a dog you don't want it to be uphill. You want it to be level or slightly downhill. And my dogs all want it in the video right now. So there's a better look at the finished cart. Notice that the saddle sitting, the center of the saddle is in front of the axle of the wheel.